Welcome to the Total Email Autoresponder 2.0.8, our latest release. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up, what it can do, and why it is changing the way that people are sending emails. So here we have our home page. Uh, when you first load up, this is what you're going to see. This is where you can set your POP3 and SMTP accounts. Over here on the side, you can also see um, the different menus, uh, so your templates and your stats and some advanced options such as importing, exporting leads, extracting leads, and so on. Uh, I'll go to those through those in a second here. But first, um, back to our accounts page. When you first launched here, I would suggest going to the settings and making sure that these settings are the way that you like them to be. For POP3 here, we can see these options. Normally I like to keep remove filtered and remove non-filtered checked so that way your POP3 inbox doesn't get fully loaded with emails. Everything else I keep the same. Intervals and timers for your POP3 I usually only run one, one thread. If you're using a lot of POP3 accounts you, know, you can increase it to three or five or any amount that you want. SMTP options you have options like if selected account is not available, use any available account or deactivate failed accounts or use proxies with SMTP. Um, maybe if you're using Gmails or Hotmails to email, you might uh, use these options. But since I'm using SMTP.com, I'm just going to keep these all unchecked. Intervals and timers. Uh, so basically your SMTP timer is checked every five minutes. It'll run... Um, through the SMTP. The threads here, you can check as many as you want. You can type it in, you know, if you want 100 or whatever you want. But I can send 20,000 emails in just a few minutes with as little as five threads. So I usually just keep it three threads, sometimes five. I usually don't go over that. Depending on what you're doing, you might need to use more. Down here, there's the enable autosave feature, which is great in case maybe your server crashes or uh, something crashes it it's out of auto saved and then when you reopen the program it's it's not like uh, any big loss or nothing bad happened uh, so I usually like to auto save and you'll notice that when you try to enable auto save it's going to tell you to load a campaign or save a current one so to do that a really neat feature on tier by the way is just exit out of this and it'll save when you exit out all of the settings have been saved go to file and save campaign so we can call this campaign I don't know um, depending on what you're doing we'll just call it campaign one save so now if you go back to settings you can see you can enable auto save so every Let's say every 15 minutes I would like to have it safe. This is just a great feature in case the program or your uh, server crashes. Now POP3 and SMTP, this is where you add your accounts. So let's quickly add a POP3 account. My favorite thing to use for POP3 is my own domain. So if you create an account on hosting service and in your cPanel you should be able to create an email if you don't know how to do that just google creating an email in your cPanel and you'll get tons of videos on how to set up your email for your host you're going to want to use your servers IP or if you're using Gmail you're going to want to use I think it's smtp.gmail.com um, and then it's always different for Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever you might be using so this is the email address that I created it, through my cPanel account. I'm just adding the information now. And we can test the account. Account is working. Awesome. Add account. Sometimes if your account's not working, you got to make sure that your port is right. Uh, contact your email provider. Ask them what the port is. Usually they'll tell you. And... I know if you Google it for Gmail, you can find out what it is pretty easily. 
So now we have a POP3 account added. Let's add an SMTP account. I will be using smtp.com. It's personally, it's my favorite. I think it's very reliable. There's a lot of other very good ones out there. It's all preference or um, whatever you might be using. smtp.com's port is 2082. Depending on your SMTP again, ask your uh, ask your provider what port they're using, and that's how you're going to find it out. Or if you're using Gmail or Yahoo or, or etc., just Google it up, and you should be able to quickly find out what the port is. You can also set your hourly sending limit. So I know for Gmail, their hour is, um, I mean, their limits is 500 emails a day. So you might want to set it to maybe 50 or even 25 hours or email sent per hour but I'm just going to leave this at zero because I don't really have any sending limits with this SMTP account so let's go ahead and test that account is working great add account perfect and that's how easy it is to set your POP3 and SMTP account now you want to set your templates here you set your from name, your from address, the SMTP account you want to be using, the subject, and so on. In this case, um, my the email that I'm using is Jess69. So I'm just going to make the from name Jessica. If you're using, and this is going to spoof the name, if you're using Gmail, this isn't it's not going to work. It's going to automatically use the from name that is on your Gmail account. But if you're using something like smtp.com, they will set it for you. And then the from address is going to be your POP3 account, which was the the Jess69 at mydomain.com. SMTP account, I'm going to just set it to the tier test, which is the smtp.com account that we just set subject let's make it let's make it hey sweetie I heard you're looking for a date what's up so I'm just kind of setting up a little campaign that you might use for pushing a dating offer for example and the template delay, let's set it to five minutes to make it a little more realistic. Response one, and that's all there is to it. You can also add some more conditions, which I like to do. Um, a condition that I like to use is if the from, ad uh, from address, if it does not contain daemon, then it, it won't send the email. Cause, uh, most of you guys working with Craigslist or something know that you'll get a an email from mail mailer at daemon.com which means it didn't it didn't go through properly or if uh, also another one I like to use is if the subject does not contain undeliverable then it's going to send this first response so you can set these two up and click update or uh, sorry add template and there we go our first response is set so now you can set response to change the template name the response to and this will be the second reply that they get after they after they get this first reply and then reply to that they're gonna get the second one thanks for writing me back want to grab some coffee later and it perfect there we go add template easy as that you know you can add a third template if you, usually it's best to send a link in the second or third template that way you'll make sure that you avoid any spam inboxes because if you send the link in the first email usually you'll hit spam but if you send the first email and they reply to it then it's kind of telling the um, 
the servers that it's okay you know it's not spam they're having a conversation so you can send them the link so before we meet let's chat on my campsite campsite URL so here you're pushing your affiliate link or whatever the link might be if you're not an affiliate anywhere you should definitely check out vice offers dot com they they have a lot of dating offers and it, they're also the affiliate network for tier so if you really enjoy tier you can push tier to your friends through your affiliate link and you get thirty dollars per free trial sign up you know I, I know a lot of people that are making good money through that because you know this is a great software to promote and why not it's perfect So we'll add that template and perfect. And your autoresponder is set up. At this point, you can already run your autoresponder. So you can turn turn the POP3 and the SMTP on. And so there, the timer is set currently to five minutes. So after five minutes, it's going to start running it. And then every five minutes after that, I'll check it again. Um, here we can do a manual POP3 check you can see it found zero emails currently on the count because there's nothing on it so it, it didn't match any emails to anything and you can run the manual SMTP check you'll see no pending templates so nothing happened let's go through some of these other features here extracting leads this is a really awesome feature if you have let's say you have a gmail account loaded with a ton of old leads you just simply add add the POP3 account on the accounts page and then come back here and you will see the account you can select it and then you just hit extract leads and it'll put them in a file for you uh, you save you can select where you wanna save the leads and it'll put them all in a nice text file for you a really great feature because when you when you have a full gmail account you can export all the leads and then you can go here to import export leads you can say, you know, uh, response one, so you could add the leads to response one, and it's going to add all your leads in there, and then it'll start sending them out. So you can either get inbound emails, and it'll respond with response one, or you can already upload a list to send a response one, and then all the replies to that, and then it'll send response two, and then if they reply to that, it'll, it'll send response three. It's one of the cleanest, easiest to use autoresponders out there right now. Um, I don't know anything better than this. Proxies, for some of you who use proxies, if you're using a lot of Gmail accounts, I do I, I do say that it's hard to find really good proxies for, for using Gmail accounts. So I prefer using paid SMTP, but some people like uh, using Gmail accounts and I found that sometimes it's hard to connect to a Gmail account so first you should log into a, the Gmail account through a browser and then add it to here and it should work just fine. There's also the SMT ignore timer so if you want to ignore the timer really late at night um, like maybe at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 a.m. you could skip the SMT, SMTP check at those hours so it won't send any emails or you can import your blacklist here. There's also the duplicate finder and email validator. If you have a list of emails, you can upload them in here and it'll it'll clean your emails. It'll find duplicates or it'll validate them. Another fun thing to play around with is if you don't like the color, you could even go to themes and change your color around here. You know, you can uh, run multiple tiers on on one server, so maybe color code them depending on what each campaign each one is running. Um, you can get creative with that. 
check your stats on here. Currently there's nothing in here, but you can check your POP3, your SMTP stats, uh, kind of see over the week you know, what days you email the most, what days you have most incoming emails, and keep, keep um, an eye on things like that. But overall, that's a quick overview of tier and how it works. It's pretty simple. There's not much to it. So I highly suggest you go to totalemailautoresponder.com and try it for free for seven days. And I know that there's no way you're going to say no to this thing. And I know you're going to make a lot of money. This thing has been pumping out money for a lot of people using it. And pretty much everyone who has ever bought tier ends up becoming an affiliate advice offers.com and pushing tier themselves.